Salusa, August 1, 2014. For you, life seems to move slowly and every moment is imprinted upon your mind, yet in reality the changes are swiftly taking place. There has never been a time when so much is happening so quickly. You are speeding along towards remarkable changes and nothing will be able to hold them back. The mold has been set for a swift change to all that is needed to bring the long-awaited new age into being. You are part of a complex plan to allow the Dark Ones the responsibility to be the cause of their own demise. In their arrogance they believe that they are the masters of their future, but overlook the dictates of heaven. You have an expression about giving someone enough rope to hang themselves and this is the position the Dark Ones are in. Their destiny is sealed and they cannot buy their way out of it. We have often proclaimed that there is a parting of the ways between those who are ready to ascend and those that are not, and this is never more true than it is today. You are all moving into a level that reflects your true vibration, and not a single soul can remain within the higher vibrations unless it is their true level. It is both fair and logical that you will feel at home with like souls who share your own ambitions and spiritual understanding. You will however be able to serve those who languish in the lower vibrations, if it should be your desire. For many there is an innate feeling of responsibility for those souls who desire to lift themselves up. Be assured that you will be given that opportunity to do so. You are living in a defining time that draws souls of a like kind together. It is quite natural at the end of an age, and prepares people for the next stage in their evolution. At last you will soon be able to enjoy your experience with souls of a like kind, and progress will be rapid. You can therefore concentrate on your own future and maintain your personal vibrations. At this stage the mold is set, and most souls have reached a point of advancement that fully represents their present stage of progress. We applaud and love those souls who still work and give fully of themselves to awaken others to the truth. It will have been their life contract and fulfillment of their desire to help them to awaken to their true selves. In your travels, please remember that the blackest of souls still has the spark of light within. It will therefore respond to those souls around it that can carry their light as a banner of their allegiance to God. It may take time but no soul is beyond help, and it is a great challenge that will test those of the light. It takes a very advanced soul to accept it and one that has complete and utter faith in the light. Those who feel the urge to help souls of a lesser light will always find the correct level, and are not expected to go to an even lower one. Dear souls of light and love, all of you feel an urge to give of yourselves to others, and according to your experience will find such opportunities come up along your life path. However, try to allow them to come to you in a natural way, and know that they will not necessarily be demanding of you. Do what is within your capabilities and treat others as you would be treated. You will know when you are on the right track, and success does not overinflate the ego, although some souls cannot help but feel overjoyed. That is fine, and we too feel such gratitude when you rise to the occasion and achieve your goal. On a higher level we are all one and very powerful beings, working with the pure vibrations of love and light. We here know that some souls are eager to serve the light, and feel that they are not being used as they would wish. Let us tell you that your desires are known to us, and be assured that as the ideal opportunity comes up, you will be thrust into action. Even simply being a good example of a soul of light, you will help others to understand how to express themselves whilst on earth. Therefore be assured that all beings of light contribute to the upliftment of others, and indeed apart from your personal evolution it is what you came to earth to do. Souls are one big family of light and love that is your gift from God. You have come a long way since you first elected to experience upon earth. When you first came you were already highly evolved beings, and were prepared to drop your vibrations to learn what it was like in the lower ones. Initially you were at a level where you were beings of light, but over a long period of time the vibrations dropped and you lost touch with your higher self. It meant that you slipped down to the lower levels, and in your history it is recorded as the Dark Ages. However, the light was always present, and in the course of time the darkness was subdued and lifted. Consequently the light returned and today you are on the threshold of a new age. 
the desired changes are manifesting in many different ways, and are not necessarily apparent unless you can take a panoramic view such as we do. However, the weather changes are happening on a wide scale and are already evident. As we have previously stated, there is going to be more temperate weather throughout the world which changes you are already noting. To some, it appears as turmoil and that is because the changes are worldwide, and as you are noting are also affecting the animal and nature kingdom. Such changes have occurred in your past and are quite natural, particularly where your land masses are concerned. Looking back at your history you would find that your world looked quite different to what it is today. I am Salusa from Sirius, and uplifted by the response of the souls of light to the demands upon them, at a time when their cooperation is so vital to the success of the end times. You have rode the storm to take your place at the helm to lead the people of Earth to victory. One day in the near future you will be totally aware of the magnitude of your success. Carrying the light with you to Earth is one thing, but you had to realize its existence within yourself and put it to good use. We send our love and light as always, and eagerly anticipate the day of our reunion. Thank you Salusa. Channeled by Mike Quincy. TreeOfTheGoldenLight.com